These are the materials for experiment one basic techniques. You'll need a plastic pipette, three milliliter plastic pipette. You'll need a 25 milliliter uh, graduated cylinder. You'll need a 100 milliliter beaker. You'll need a 250 milliliter beaker. And depending upon your 250 milliliter beaker, sometimes they only have markings up to 200. This one actually has markings to 300 milliliters, which I guess technically makes it a 300 milliliter beaker, but something about that range. Then I have a beaker that holds more than 400 milliliters, and this one holds 500 milliliters. Then I also have a waste beaker, and I just tend to choose the biggest beaker that I have that I don't otherwise need. This is just gonna be holding distilled water in this case, so uh, not a whole lot of waste to take care of, but it is nice to have a place to dump your waste um, so you don't have to go over to the sink uh, in the middle of your experiment. You will also need distilled water, and I have a gallon of distilled water right here. That should be enough for the entire semester. Plenty, by the way. As far as distilled water goes, if you don't have access to distilled water or you didn't purchase it, tap water is an okay substitute to use. Just make sure that you note it on your lab when you submit it. You'll need two other things. You'll need uh, a scale that reads to the nearest 0 0.01 grams. That would be the nearest one hundredth of a gram. Uh, the scale I have is what's called the jeweler's scale, and it cost me about fifteen ninety nine. Uh, so, and uh, I think it's going to work very well for this. There are other options too, but I think this is one of the least expensive, and yet uh, it has good accuracy from what my testing anyway. Then uh, I have a temperature probe. Uh, I bought this temperature probe in a kit with a pH probe for a total of $22. It does measure temperature, but that's not its primary focus or reason. If you look at this right here, it says zero, and let me see, uh, parts per million. It's a water quality tester, and so it's, uh, and we'll talk about that later too. But if you hit the mode button, it actually, uh, twice, it will get to degrees Celsius, 24.3 degrees Celsius, and then it'll actually get to uh, Fahrenheit as well, in case you need that as well. And those are the materials you'll need for Experiment 1 Basic Techniques.